Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new episode of your show, New Media. My name is Dajjal Houtari, and like every other episode, we get to talk about content creation, new media in general. Apple. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is my phone. I have to silence it. I mean, Hussein, you too? So Come on. Funny. We have an episode to record, man. All right. I'm so sorry, guys. Forgive me. All right. So. I guess I will talk a little bit about notifications today. I mean, since me and uh, Hussein messed up. These little messages tell you or notify you of what is going on. So I will talk a little bit about them and they are critical and essential. So just imagine with me all the new media programs and social media with all the friends and the direct messages, with the interactions, with the likes and also the dislikes. Imagine that you don't get a single notification for all of that. Just imagine. I mean, you want to be able to interact correctly and correspond with your social media platforms. And of course, the applications as well. But even though they are essential, I mean, they are also a double-edged sword, right? Especially when they are all over your smartphones and the whole gadget thingy. So. You know, like these loud sounds or noises would mess up things like me and Hussein just did at the very beginning. So, yeah. Anyway, the first company credited for successfully commercializing the push notification of all smartphones is RIM, which is Research in Motion, with their flagship, of course, BlackBerry. And the rest is history. So let us move on now with our episode. Guys, why do we have this segment? Because it is interesting, right? What do we have today? Well, it is Tokyo Lens. Let us watch this video. Lately, I start every morning by checking on my pigeon. That, that's not a euthanism, by the way. There's a pigeon that lives on my balcony that has laid eggs, and now I'm waiting for them to hatch. It seems like Mama Pigeon is stretching her legs right now. We've got two eggs hiding back here. Excuse all the grain and cereal on the ground. I've been trying to make it so she doesn't have to go out very often. It's a little hazy today, but I've also got a pretty epic view of the Sakurajima volcano from my balcony. These, these are clouds, by the way. It does erupt fairly often, though. In fact, I made the return of one of my flight lessons really interesting the other day because it had erupted while we were in the training area, and on the way back, the sky was just filled with volcanic ash. Today's segment is about vlogging and showing how real life is in Japan. We follow a famous content creator named Norm Nakamura, who happens to be also a photographer. He gives his audience an authentic experience in Japan, exploring their culture, music, life, and weird, exciting things. There is a hidden world of amazing little shops with one that somehow stands out just a little more than the rest. Over the years, this one tiny shop and its owner's incredible smile have become the subject of countless photos from people around the world. But who is this man? I visited his shop for the first time 15 years ago and he recently sadly told me that he was finally closing things down. So today, I wanted to take this one last chance to share a little bit about him and some of his stories with the world. Shimayama. ここにこの女の子あんだけど映るかな。1951年からここがあってここのお店としては1951年の10月の9日。この日ね会社設立してます。それ以前にもお店としてはやってるんですけど、そんな状況ですね。えっと実は私の父親、先代が ここのお店を始めたんですよ。で、ただその先代は、え、早めに早め、早くに亡くなっちゃいまして、今から、えっと、僕が25の時だから43年前、あの、脳内出血っていうのでね、え、急に倒れて、え、あのように行ってしまった
Our guy Norm grew up in Canada and moved to Japan in 2007. He began publishing his content on the net around 2017. He lives now in Tokyo and his authentic experience is just unique. The videos he posts, I think that they bridge between cultures. Japan has always been outstanding and remains one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Now, let us see a fascinating apartment and I want you to notice the size. But now for the moment of moments, the main room. <laughs> this is, well, this is the main room. It is tiny. In fact, this entire place is something like only nine meters square, which means you're likely to find smaller places in Tokyo. In fact, my first apartment was pretty much just the size of this room here. I didn't have my own bathroom. It was a shared bathroom, but this place comes with some features and benefits that make it very livable and very interesting. So let me show you around and I guess share what's special about this place is just built to be really livable. Aside from the loft, which we'll take a look at in a second, there are little hangers up here that you can put your clothing on and whatnot if you want to hang your laundry. There's actually this neat little cord here that you can stretch across all the way to the other side. Boom, and you can hang your laundry there like that. It, it takes a second to retract. His YouTube channel grossed more than 73 million views, and he describes himself as Shami Sen. Player, pilot in training, boat captain, an absolute workaholic, capturing documentaries, exploration, vlogs, tiny apartments, Japanese music, travel, and live streams. Too many things. Welcome back, dear viewers, now to our favorite segment where we get to meet a content creator out there here in Kuwait telling us more about his stories and the things that he use and upload and all the things happen on their social media. So please welcome with me Mohamed Deshti, aka Local Moment. Welcome. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Well, we are so happy to have you here and I'm good. Thank I'm you so too. for asking. Um, obviously, like I know some information about you, Mohamed. Yeah. yeah. But I would like you to look at your camera, sure. camera and tell the people something about you. Yeah, sure. Uh, actually, I am a content uh, creator for video games and entertainment at all, like movies and TV show. And I work as a, my primary job as a teacher, high school teacher. Uh, and I like doing my things about video mm -hmm. games. This is my passion since I was young. And uh, my account is on YouTube and uh, Instagram, and I try to work hard to reach every people and talk to them about the video games. Awesome. Well, this is the information that we wanted so that now we know more about you or a brief. Uh, let's uh, first of all talk about, I mean, I have seen some unboxing yeah. reviews and all kind of uh, uh, reviews, uh, whether it's for movies, gaming and all these kind of things. So how did all this started? How, why or how did the idea of creating the account came? First place. First place about the creating an account. Uh, usually, uh, I went to convention, video games convention, since like uh, 2011, outside in the UAE and San Diego. I went there and I like to cover and I have many contacts and uh, the gaming social life mm -hmm. is becoming bigger and bigger and more people have knowledge. So every people like call me like a reference. Hi, how you doing? How's good? I told him, yeah, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to buy a game for my son. He is like. 13 years old, what game you recommended, what console I have to buy. So in this moment, I was thinking, why don't make an account about news, video games, uh, unboxing, talk about some video games technology, and even movies and TV show. Even when I gather with my family every Friday, mm -hmm. oh, what movie this weekend will go? What do you recommend it for us? So this is the beginning of my account in the Instagram side. So it all started with friends and close uh, friends and also family. Yeah, and they then, encourage me yeah, actually. They encourage and, you and too. And they still encourage me and give me some notes. Do this, do, don't do this. Uh, well, I encourage. like this part. Yeah. I mean, it will improve you. It, it will make you yeah, even better. Yeah. Well, and now since uh, you share this information, the news with the community that you have, I guess uh, you have more knowledge now and you have to uh, 
pay attention, close attention to what's new, what's uh, next in the gaming world and the movies, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. Uh, I like, I like, I have a website, it's called uh, Video Games Release, so it's talking about video games. Every day I go there and check what games will be released. And mm. I go to articles and some bloggers and some companies, they are sending me emails about the news. So this is how I update myself every day. When I finish from work, my primary work, I go home, mm -hmm. I stay in the computer like two, three hours. I editing the Photoshop. Wow. I learn Photoshop from the content. Mm. Then I edit some videos and then upload it. Then I have a rest for my with my family. The, wow. uh, yeah, the, and, like, do you enjoy what, what you're doing? Uh, of course, I enjoy it too much because I have my moment and my special place. Uh, I, if you can see, I, I already give the TV a, a video about yeah. my place. It's a small place, but when I'm inside this place, the room, I feel like I am free of my mind of everything mm -hmm. and I'm focused on these things and I enjoy reading more the news and uploading to the people and especially when someone comment on the post I put it and I have conversation with them. I like these things. Even this direct message. Every people I welcome them in the direct message. That's actually not so as an influencer I mean people may dislike those who ignore the comments of the people and now you mentioned that you actually reply and like argue with the people who comment on your yeah I like arguing with people with the, some news some information about video games like uh, even when I'm, I'm a high school teacher I argue with my uh, students, students about some information like today we were talking about video games uh, teacher why the video games uh, have ages like some video games this is actually important yeah, yeah. they have to know this yeah ha they have to know to, I told them the ages well, on the other side, in sociology and psychology, mm -hmm. uh, it is information that this kid have 13 years old. He has to play the game with uh, everyone 13. And he is 16, he has to play the game with the T, which is 14s. And yeah, those, about... those uh, marks and uh, like letters in the corner of any uh, cover of uh, a game, yeah. a T and the, the Everyone, there is an a, a, an adult. Uh, and some video, uh, some video games cover have like numbers, different yes. from uh, UAE, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Europe UK, and the, Europe, Europe, yeah, UK and, and the US, US, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. video games. So I like arguing about this and I told them if you want to continue arguing with me, you can come with a break into my office, I can argue with them. Even when I go to any places like with the social gaming, I like to go especially do any, do any gaming. I like arguing. We go there and arguing about video games and have conversation and uh, it's like knowledge, you know? Yeah. Well, okay, well I have this um, a tricky question. Now Mohammed, as a father now, people would say uh, I mean, as we grow up, we should give away the, the, you know, the PlayStation and all the video game thingy. What's your take on that? Uh, actually, no, I don't think this way. Uh, now my kids are growing up. Mm -hmm. I need to grow with them. I, go, I have to go to their level. Mm -hmm. I have to play with them video games. I have to see what they are playing video games. I have to be, have knowledge. Because unfortunately, some parents, they give their kids the console, they play PlayStation. They don't know what's content for this game mm. and especially when I'm, when I'm when I am big now when I play video games it's like for me some people they like reading books some people like they go with the walking outdoor gym or go yes. sports sporting or, or whatever everyone have his yeah his this own is hobby. my passion this is my hobby this is what I relax when I play video games because in the video games it's like fantasy world you can go from your reality world mm. to the fantasy world for two or three hours and you come back to your life right. that's it yeah. Well, this is interesting. So, can you give us like uh, the story behind the journey of you starting video games? Actually, uh, I have a story how I started playing video games mm -hmm. too much. Because uh, when I was young, there, I, I am now 37, so I started to play like uh, Nintendo and then Sega. And then my brother, elder brother, he went to United States and he brought for me Nintendo 64. I started playing, I didn't enjoy it too much. I was playing in Qatsi, uh, Sport club mm -hmm. uh, as a sporter there for athletic sport. Nice. Yeah. Then one of my friends he told me, "How about you try this game? It was called Metal Gear." Oh yeah, Metal yeah, Gear. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So my friend he gave me the PlayStation. I didn't have PlayStation. I was thinking that I have to stop gaming. I'm old now. I cannot play video games. Old, but you were young. Yeah, I was young, but I was <laughs> with the sport. I was mm -hmm. go to outside malls with my friends. Mm -hmm. I don't want to play video games. Yes. He gave me the PlayStation one with the game called uh, Metal Gear. And I played the game, I saw, wow, what is the game? This is a movie, not a game. So, mm -hmm. in this moment, I start playing 
video games from since this day and until now every game like released for Metal Gear especially I played and other games as also as well, well. Well, such a cool story. I mean, every person have his own story and I mean, uh, can you imagine like every every person have his different way of telling the stories and this one actually is uh, also cool. So now let's talk about the, let's focus now on influ being an influencer. Yeah. I mean, since you post, um, you know, videos, videos uh, yeah. photos, and like I, I've seen descriptions about uh, a certain, um, you know, movie or a game, reviews uh, in general. Uh, how do you prepare all these things? Actually, uh, let's say if there is some technology uh, release or some video game or mm -hmm. some uh, joystick controller or headset, mm -hmm. it uh, I buy it by myself and I unbox it and see what's content for the box. After I unbox it, I try it by myself, like let's say for three or four hours. Then I upload this video. I take all this photo mm -hmm. and shop. I have by camera and I prepare myself with the place. After this, I prepare the dialogue for the video and I go to the computer and I stay like four to two hours. It depends on the work, video. Yes. Uh, it depends on the video uh, because I have to cut it. I have to do it mm -hmm. simple and nice. Then I upload it too. So this is the idea of uh, doing the video on the YouTube or Instagram. I like that you mentioned that you unbox and also, I mean, you, you mentioned uh, before we uh, record this, uh, you know, interview that you also do some unboxing videos. Yeah. So, you, I mean, why would you do all the different things? I mean, okay, is I it, what's the, the, the unboxing? Is, it, it started with me. Uh, I used to buy some v statue or called figures or yes, whatever yes. it's called collectibles uh, for video I, games. I, col I collect them. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, sometimes I want to order this one, but I don't know how it will be or look in real life. So some people, they do unboxing mm. in, outside. I saw the unboxing, oh, it's a nice idea. Why don't you do one in Arabic? Mm. So I start doing unboxing for statue, then for some controllers. Yeah. So basically from uh, the uh, figures and these statues yeah. to the uh, gaming field, like sure. the headsets and all these things, you, you, you switched or swapped from this to that? Yeah. Or you, you keep on doing both? I'm mixing like mm. with everything about video games, let's say from accessories, from consoles, from video games and review video games. And about the entertainment, especially in movies and anime and TV show, mm. I like to talk about them in the content. But the primary things in the content is the video games. Sweet. Yeah. Nice. So now, yeah, that you mentioned that your kids also play video games. Uh, like, do you have like some rules for them, uh, restrictions or any kind of uh, uh, this uh, for this matter? Actually, I have. Even if my son is now 13 years old, he came to me, Papa, you are playing, why you don't let me play? I told him, you have school, you have to study. Then in the weekend, you can play, you can play. I try to arrange it. Now in this technology, you can con connect your mm -hmm. account with your son account. Yeah, the parental and you have, control yeah, uh, and you have to, option. Put like two hours in the day or one hour, or don't put any hours in the weekdays, only in the weekends. Even the phone, when I give him the phone, uh, I try to control the phone from, through the what application have to download. So this technology, some parents have to know about it actually. This because actually it's very good. Yeah. yeah, I like this idea. If any application he downloaded, I, the Gmail, send me an email. Uh, he download. He wants to download. He have request. Mm. He, can he download it? Okay, so download, no uh, problem. He have to go through your approval. Yeah. So that he can uh, download or... Uh, and this you know, option on iPhone or on Android, both mm -hmm. it is there. Even in the video games, especially in the Nintendo, Nintendo Switch or PlayStation, they have this rule, you can control it. Well, such a lovely option. Yeah. I mean, I know that it's been there and now uh, it's quite uh, awesome that you mentioned it so that people would know that y you can actually control the devices the uh, you know the play, any any kind of device any, that your like a mobile children, video game anything you can control it yeah through that option even the YouTube when some people leave the YouTube open and the, you can put like only safe for kids that's what, even when I upload the video if this video have video exactly. game have violence uh, or blood I try to put no no kids watch this one and always I don't put any kids so I don't put my things in the zone mm. I damage some people uh, exactly. habits or knowledge you know that's why uh, this is uh, actually a part of you being an influencer you have to be cautious of the things that you upload and th that was one of my questions actually how yeah. do you prepare for that for which one is like exactly? like uh, since you're an influencer yeah. i mean it's very important for you to be aware of the things that you upload yeah of, of course see uh, actually when i try to upload a the vi especially the video uh, i see the video if have because i know kuwait rules have like especially in video games, some video games they cannot be released here. Mm -hmm. So 
if it cannot be released, I do a video, but I don't put any content that like, have violence, too much violence, or like, bad language, or bad words, anything. I tried not to put it there. And even if there is something in this video game not good, I try to mention it. I will be honest. I will be honest with the, everyone who follow me. I will be honest. This game is good. This game is not good. I will be very, very honest. I, even if some company maybe will be bad because they send me sometimes codes to review this game. Mm. I give my opinion in the honest way. And then, yeah, to be honest, yeah. that's the most important part. To be honest to the community so that I mean they trust you even more and yeah. you get of course more followers and more people like your content. Uh, now, since uh, we are like this interview is dedicated for gaming, let's talk about the industry of video games. Okay, the industry of video games. Actually, now I think it will be above the movies because uh, video games has been uh, more income for every company in the world even the small companies now they are growing to make a studio for video games like when i went to uh, germany this uh, summer i went to video game expansion uh, was in germany oh, yeah. this company i know what they do controllers they do something uh, like some controllers accessories? yeah accessory oh. for the phone then i was talking to them say okay what why you don't try this game Told them you make games, so, so they yeah, develop we, we, games we, we, develop, we develop games. Sorry, mm -hmm. and uh, the city of uh, video games is now very huge, especially mm -hmm. now in the phone. You can play any game, or, or mostly most of the big games or mm -hmm. big hit games. Now you can play it in the yes. mobile, you can access yeah, it iPad, portable. mobile, and everything is portable. I don't think I don't know about the future, but. What maybe, will happen in the future? Yeah, yeah. maybe we, uh, we will abandon the, the uh, huge PC and the PlayStation. Yeah, the even things. the reality, the virtual reality. Sorry, yes, like, VR. Uh, uh, VR. Yeah, there is uh, some countries they use the meeting in the VR. They wear the VR and they use meeting. So they don't VR. have to go actually Oculus to the VR. office. Yeah, they just meet through the VR world. This VR, is yeah. actually amazing. That's why they use. Oh, it. We should start doing this. I we mean, use it for game, but they use it for <laughs> meeting. <laughs> <laughs> maybe in our next interview, we would uh, be using yeah. VR. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, do you have any incident, any story regarding having online friends? Actually, yeah, I have many online friends, but uh, like I, I know one of my friends uh, back in 2009, he was studying uh, as a, to, to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. So after like 12 or 13 years, I met him and I was talking to him, he's now a surgery. Mm -hmm. And in this time, like I had a pain in my stomach. I told him I have like a pain and this is blah, 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 about the pain, yeah, yeah the area. And he told me, okay, come to my clinic. I went to a clinic and he did the surgery for me. And since then we are more close to each other. And this is from the video games. Yeah. I met this doctor yeah. and he made the surgery for me. MashaAllah, yeah. what a beautiful incident. Yeah, yeah, from, yeah. from a game to a friend and to be your doctor. Even you. Well, yes, actually, uh, now yeah. we meet again. I know your brother from video games. <laughs> <laughs> I we, have, we have so many stories to yeah, share. Of yeah, of course, yeah. Well, I guess we have reached the end of this lovely interview, uh, Mr. Mohammed. I mean, it's been a pleasure having My you pleasure with us. My pleasure also. And uh, before you uh, leave, I would like you again to look at sure. the camera and tell the audience an advice before you leave. Okay, uh, I'll give this advice to the parents. Uh, let your kids play video games because they will break the nerves inside them. They will lose some stress from studying. Okay, studying is the number one thing, but video games is like they enjoy, enjoy time. Mm. This generation especially the video game is number one for them they contact with their friends they have relationship with their friends and uh, let them play video games and study at the same time <laughs> yeah thank you so much Sorry. a group of game critics nintendo lovers gathered and debated what are the best mario game what is the best super mario game well, it was a daunting task to rank them, but they eventually did. Well, because, you know, there are too many Mario games out there. We can't list all of their favorite games. However, we are here to be listing the top five Super Mario games. What is this place? All right, let's start with number five. Super Mario Galaxy 2 on the Wii. And here's a video.
Now, the game critics believe that this game was an expansion of the concept of the original one. It expanded the universe and its inventiveness, and it was very colorful. The journey was fascinating and surprising. Fans loved every piece of that world, as they enjoyed the game's creativity and environment as well. The game was released in 2010. And now with number 4, Mario Maker 2. In Super Mario Maker 2, you can create the Super Mario courses of your dreams. And play courses created by other people from around the globe. In other words, you can basically have new Super Mario courses to enjoy every day. Now, let's jump right into the basics. A game that was released in 2019 and made a huge buzz. Why? Well, it is original game, 2D, but with everything you need with design, whether it's fighting enemies, saving the princes, themes, games, styles, power-ups, and design, story, mode, multiplayer, literally everything. The game was supported with updates and the community loves this, so why not? And now, dear viewers, with number three, Mario game. Super Mario Galaxy on Wii. A fantastic adventure with Mario. This version actually uh, of Mario will be jumping from a galaxy to another one to collect the power stars. It gave the audience something new, like, uh, you know, the gravitational force to move on top and below and also around the planets. Also, Mario could pick up objects and shoot them at enemies, and that was actually something new, and interact with the environment in general. Now, with the number two Super Mario game, that would be Super Mario World on SNES. Well, this is actually a very old game, a game that made a revolution of platform games. It was built on the excellent formula of the previous four games released before this one. So this game actually introduced fights with, or actually flights with capes and expanded the world with secrets. Our hero also teamed up with Yushi for the first time. And oh yeah, the game was released in 1991. And now to the number one favorite game for Super Mario, which was Super Mario Odyssey on the Nintendo Switch. I quote, it is the most innovative, expressive, creative, and diverse 3D Mario Nintendo has ever made. Do I need to add more? It is a mixture of art, styles, mechanics, sounds, colors, adventures, and so much to discover. Well, that is it for now, dear viewers, for the gaming segment. We hope you enjoyed it. And with that being said, dear viewers, we have reached the end of this lovely episode again. Content creator, media story, video games, such a wonderful episode. See you again in the next one.